Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. We are back with some Hell Divers 2. Now I know we haven't put a couple of videos up of late with Hell Divers 2. We've been experimenting on a couple of different games, but we are back today. Now we're going to get into it and I want to break down the new war bond and essentially the main gun I've been using, which I'm absolutely loving, is the R26 Eruptor. I absolutely love this gun. It's an explosive sniper rifle. I've been kind of trying out some of the armor sets that have been in um, the initial war bond, the thermite grenade as well. And I'm gonna push up, push up on the actual crossbow. But for this gun, running this with um, any heavy machine gun as a kind of you know one of the stratagems that you call in um, is unbelievable. So. It, it just takes out everything from bug holes to kind of you know the, the automaton kind of factories they're apt it's an absolute amazing gun and um, you know taking out those heavily armored automatons as well with the damage being at 380 is ridiculous the capacity is only five once again it is a sniper rifle well you know assault rifle slash sniper rifle and the recoil is a little bit you know it can, it can be a bit heavy especially when it comes to that bolt action side of things uh, but i absolutely love this gun i'm going to show you a bit of gameplay now in this gameplay i actually ran into a game where i was getting a lot of lag and it was true the playstation 5 the guys in the actual game itself had question marks purple question marks around them and i was just really really confused on how that was working um look i know there's been a lot of stuff going on on the pc so i did things with the port for infinite stratagems there's been a lot of reports about it hopefully getting you know their, their anti-cheat in order but to see this on the playstation 5 just really 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 just kind of shocked me a little bit and i didn't know if it was something about the game or maybe it was just something a bug that i was dealing with and um, i feel like maybe it's just me dealing with these bugs but it's been a bit crazy a lot of lag a lot of blurriness in the game as well and yeah those those kind of pink question marks running around each player was what was, was crazy but um you know let me know what you think about it we're gonna break it all down in this video let's go okay guys so as you can see here there's like purple question marks around the players i was a bit confused what was going on i was suffering with a lot of lag uh, but in this I, I was using the kind of uh, explosive sniper rifle and i loved it don't get me wrong i was able to kind of take out those big hulks from the distance as well so we got a bit of bonus out of this i, I loved running this uh weapon it has so much strength and um, it helped me clear out basically majority of the objectives from long range to take out kind of their you know control centers um and on most of the objectives on the map so i was loving this but the one thing i just found in this was that there was a level of craziness as like it looked like the door splashed up and that was new for me uh, but the question marks were just all over the map and i didn't know if this was people cheating or if it was like a you know a hacked lobby but this is on playstation 5 and there was a lot of things kind of gone wrong for me like my stalwart that i was using wasn't there then it was there so it, it, it was a crazy time within this but once again I, i'm loving the, the the kind of 36 here um and it's amazing like i was practicing to kind of see how much damage it could take how quickly it could take out enemies but i would rate this gun honestly right now as a 9 out of 10 for me match with the stalwart just to having that kind of level of, of use but let me know what you guys think down below looking at the question marks and these guys all over the map it was absolutely crazy i really didn't know what to make of it and these were scattered honestly across all the maps and the guys are just running up picking up things and being able to collect everything on on the map so i don't know if this was a hack lobby i'd love to know your thoughts down below um but have you came across it have you not uh, but yeah that was kind of the, the run through on the craziness in that game We have the Galactic War front right in front of us. So Lasat is basically nearly done. We're at about 73.4% and we have 125k players on this planet currently at the time of this video being made. So we've got about six hours left, as it says here, six to seven hours left of this planet being done. And that is the major orders complete for 55 medals. We also need to understand the supply lines. And just for anybody who hasn't been keeping up to date with the supply lines, supply lines are extremely important because it allows the enemy to move around into other planets so to understand this you can see these arrows moving into certain planets and moving out of certain planets what we need to understand is that we have cho i hopefully i'm saying that right this has a direct line into the next planet within the next sector so once we're completed on lasath 
we do need to move into Cho. Um, you can see here as well, uh, Mafreak, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this moves into the next sector as well. So you can see where Joel is kind of really playing around with these kind of sectors. He's trying to kind of divide us out. So these are the two main planets we need to be looking at as well. You know, when you look at uh, Martel, you know, it's not that it doesn't need to be completed, but it only has supply lines going inwards. So we're not too worried. It's all about stopping the expansion of the enemy. Now we can see over here on the Termoy planet on Helmir, as you can see, there's two ports of them moving out on the supply lines. So we have to be extremely careful that the Termoids also don't spread. But what we do know about the Termoids, as we covered in previous videos, is essentially the Termoids are only kind of from where the hell diving and super earth kind of community within the game game is spawning them because we're using their kind of essence to, to fuel um, our planes and how we travel so they can't really have a mode of transport that's wherever we've actually been located maybe they've had a breach of them they've expanded they've multiplied and we need to contain them the automatons on the other hand are a force that is invading and attacking super earth and the hell divers in general so it's a little bit more forceful i can see why we probably haven't seen the illuminate right now there has been kind of little hints and, and little kind of glimpses at them that that. but if we're being attacked on both fronts it will be extremely difficult to tell you for us to hold them back and the game would get pretty sour because instead of having this big 125k 68k in these type of planets this would probably be half for each one and be a little bit more kind of diverse uh, and spread out and the time span of these planets and having to move through it just wouldn't be achievable so i can see what they're doing here but understand that these are the way we need to be moving so you know we're we're, we're on track to complete these major orders it is going to get done it's just what's happening next what i'm trying to get across to the community and anybody who's watching this video even though we're going to do the major orders it is the next in line before we get our next major order update are focusing on the planets that have that external movement on the supply lines which as we just covered is a uh, marfrak and also cho uh, hopefully i'm saying those right as i said before so they have supply lines moving outwards and inwards to certain planets they're the most important ones to kind of liberate because then it puts joel in a position where he has to maybe look at another way the automatons are going to be for so we have to be calculating on what we're moving and also not forgetting that we do have the termites as well uh the terminal section to really get, get get kind of going on and they are termites let's be really really honest so that is kind of the look at the overall galactic war it seems like we're going well and then now we're going to move on to actually having a look at the latest war bond and some of the guns within that and one of my favorite guns that i've been using all along um, and i'm really excited to bring it to you um, and then also some issues that's been actually going on in terms of the game that i jumped into i want to know your comments down below let me know if you've seen this before this has actually been on playstation 5 and it's been a crazy run in this game that i had i just was all over the place and crazy stuff were happening in the game so uh that that's coming up now so okay guys so that is our run through on the craziness that i had with hell divers too so i'm still feeling like there's a lot of bugs in this game that they do need to fix but once again we've kind of ran through some of the bugs i went through already with the kind of purple or pink question marks we went over the galactic war so i really hope this video helps you kind of really in, in involve yourself in in hell divers when it comes to picking where you're going to push your initial efforts in the war um let me know down below essentially if you've been going through any of these problems how you're finding the new war bond are you finding hell divers a little bit too repetitive right now currently and um, do you feel like it needs to be freshened up a little bit with new more kind of missions or or kind of a, a different style of game within it as well um but yeah look that's all we have time for today once again i just really do appreciate you tuning in and um, once again don't forget to hit a like hit a subscribe to really support this channel we'll explore a couple of more different games on this channel as well um but we'll change it up a little bit and we might even actually venture into doing some new release game reviews um i know there's kind of marvel rivals coming out there's new games coming out as well so we might do kind of like trailer reviews and give a breakdown on those games coming um in later on in this year but i am really looking forward to it all and look at once again um you've been great and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video till the next one bye